How's it going? Uh, questions? You know what? This microphone is not working. Why am I holding it? It's <laughs> drunk. All right. Fortunately, I'm loud. So I'll just talk loud. And I hope these guys are loud, too. So we'll just shout. Got a question right here. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, how come there are photos of Paddock's body or face, and he has different earlobes, and the actual person that was dead is Paddock? And that was not brought up to attention, I noticed. That. You're right about it. Okay, that's interesting. I'm actually making another, Randy and I are making another movie about the mass shooting. Okay. Um, and we're actually going to address that in the next movie. One thing that's important to realize. And, and listen, we've been rightly criticized for having the mass shooting section kind of rushed, and it is rushed. And it's because our distributor had a hard release date of, um, and we had to like, we had like a month to, to, to film all the mass shooting footage, and then it had to be all over iTunes and Amazon and theaters in New York and LA, et cetera. So we were kind of hauling ass to get what we knew at the time. And at the time, nobody knew about the earlobe thing. But in, in my next film, in our next film called um, To Serve and Collect, which is about the Vegas mass shooting, um, we're going to be addressing the earlobe thing in depth, among many other interesting things. It's just that we didn't know that about that at the time. Okay. Yeah. Great question. Though. Yeah. And I agree, by the way. Anybody else? Thoughts? Opinions? I have a couple questions. Yeah. Um, have, do you know anything about possible FBI involvement in the Las Vegas massacre and also the involvement of Saudi Arabians? I've read conspiracy theories on both, and I just wondered what your opinion was. Can, can I just say that um, we know that immediately prior to this um, that Stephen Paddock flew to Saudi Arabia. Um, according to the family, um, in order to keep his airline status, he had to rack up a little over 8,000 miles, and that was the cheapest way to do it, and that he flew there, he hated it, and he flew back. Um, we know of no connection with the Saudi Arabia government or anything else. He flew there and he wanted to visit Saudi Arabia and keep his airline status. So that's, that's all we know. I want to say this, though. There's a lot that's unanswered. Um, and we're going to be looking into all of that in the next movie about the Vegas mass shooting. Um, we're going to be exploring all the angles and looking into them further. Um, the Vegas mass shooting has been interesting because a lot of information has been kept from us. And um, the dirtiest and deadliest police department in America, the LVMPD, has um, certainly not done their part in doing what they're required to do by law in releasing public records. And, and why they aren't being forced to do that at this point um, is beyond my understanding, given that they were given a court order by a judge not too long ago. But they just kind of do whatever they want, as you can see from the movie, and they just kind of get away with it because of the dirty DA and the dirty mayor and the useless politicians that run Vegas and let this wildly corrupt bullshit organization run over it. And it all comes down to money. And, and that's what the mayor, and that's what your piece of shit DA, Steve Wolfson, that's what these people care about, and that's what your bullshit mayor, Carolyn Goodman, married to the mob lawyer, that's that's, these people answer to the money people who run the strip, right. and they're not interested in integrity, and they're not interested in safety, they're interested in the big casino billionaires that run the strip, and keeping these pieces of garbage happy. And, and that's why we aren't getting answers, is because of your useless politicians that run this, this, you know, this state. So, um, and we're going to be exposing these pieces of trash in our next movie and getting to the real answers and, um, and just kind of exposing this good old boy system and how, you know, how in bed the DA is with the mayor and how this all kind of like conspires to not give us the answers that we're entitled to by law. The LVMPD has been given court orders, and even actually Fox News, to their credit, over 60 days ago requested public records 
from the LVMPD, which they're required to provide about, um, med, you know, about the Eclipse Theaters and Ramsey Dennison and if the LVMPD um, conspired to keep the movie out of Eclipse Theaters. Um, they were required to provide any emails or public records related to that, and, and that's a public information request. You're supposed to respond to those, and they haven't responded for over 60 days now. And, and as many of you know, in the Fox, um, local Fox piece that ran here um, on Friday, um, our movie was, you know, we were talking with the Eclipse Theaters about a three-week run, and then all of a sudden, the last email I ever got from the Eclipse said that, uh, oh, um, the two LVMPD officers paid me a visit today. And next thing you know, we couldn't get the Eclipse theaters on the phone. And guess who won't provide us public, inf you know, guess who's not providing that public information? The LVMPD. And they're required to by law. But incredibly, they just kind of ignore the law. They just kind of do whatever they do. And, they're, and your useless mayor and your useless DA lets them because they don't have any integrity and they don't care about justice. They care about keeping the registers ringing and making money because those people might contribute to their campaign. And that's one of the reasons why Las Vegas is, is corrupt and, and why you have this, um, why we're not getting answers. And we deserve answers. Those 58 victims deserve answers. Um, and, um, and we need to insist on them and keep hammering away at them because it's not okay. And they're used to just doing whatever they want mm -hmm. and, and getting away with it because of apathy or, or cause of, because of whatever. And that's not okay. They work for us. And they're real good at forgetting that. And your mayor and your DA and these other politicians are real good at protecting them, but these people also work for us. And we need to insist that they do their job as public servants, which they certainly have not. And the least everyone in here can do is make sure that DA Steve Wolfson does not get reelected and, and that Sheriff um, Joe Wetsock Lombardo does not get reelected. This guy has the charisma of a wet sock. And he's a liar, he's a fraud, the officers don't like him. He literally lied and put endorsed by law enforcement when 96 out of 100 officers wanted the other guy, the good guy. The guy with integrity, Larry Burns, that's who should be your sheriff. That's who should be your sheriff. And it's a travesty that he's not. And it's a travesty that you have this piece of trash running your police department. And that's one of the reasons they're a disgrace and a laughing stock to the United States of America. Have you taken any harassment at all for a production of this movie? Oh, yes. <laughs> I've gotten emails saying, I wish you were in Hawaii so I could stick your head in the sand and suffocate you. I I, I, to, what's that? I, I wanted you to include the Goodman's good for shit son, Eric Goodman. Oh, the Goodman's. Oh, the cute mob lawyer. Yeah. Yeah, isn't it so, you know. It's a convenient. That yeah, they have a I, I mean, Austin Goodman's interesting. I mean, it's like, you know, here this guy spends his entire career getting mobsters, killers, off the hook for their crimes. You know what, and, 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 and what did they do? Oh, let's make him mayor. What a great idea to take this guy, this morally bankrupt mayor, who's funny and charming, and let's make him the mayor, you know? Like, this is a guy who gets killers off the hook. And who's your current mayor? His wife. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Question. Um, do you know if, um, if uh, Burns has any interest in running again? He's not, no. The, the window is closed. Um, he's not running. There's, I mean, there's I mean, two other... I mean, in the future. Do you, did he... Well, it all comes down to money like everything else in yeah, Vegas. And he just doesn't feel that he can raise the money. And sadly, I know, isn't it sad? I see you just kind of like fainting in your chair. And it makes me feel that way too. That you'd end up with a piece of trash like Joe Lombardo because of money. And, 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 and you end up with people who represent the casinos because of money. It's very sad. And it is sad. And, and the truth is, Larry Burns had less than half the money of Joe Lombardo. And he came, it was 49 to 51%. So he almost beat him. And there are people who think that the election was rigged. I don't know. I don't have the information on that. But um, Joe Lombardo's 1.7 million beat Larry Burns's just under 900,000. Because that's what happens in Vegas. Money wins. And, and the bad guy won. 
and we all get to pay for it. I can tell you this, if Larry Burns would have been up there telling us the truth about the mass shooting because Larry Burns has integrity, unlike this casino puppet, this the Joe Lump that you have now, this liar who cares about the people who fund his campaign, the casinos. That's what Joe Lombardo is, an agent of the casino. Yes, sir. How you doing? Uh, Wolverine, president of Infidel Riders here in uh, Las Vegas. Um, great information. I'm so glad you guys got it out. I think that's one of the biggest keys to ch change things these days is getting the information out there. Right. I just want a quick question. Who voted for the last sheriff this year? Exactly. Who vote, great who vote. Yeah, I'm not right. seeing a lot of hands. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> seeing one. Like right. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and give props out right to Stephen Stubbs because he's very good at uh, organizing uh, the communities, especially here yeah. with the uh, yeah. fire community. Um, and really, honestly, we have nobody to blame but ourselves. These politicians, uh, these guys that we are having run our community, these sheriffs that we're, down, we're sitting here bitching about, they're here because there's not enough of us You're right. who have problems with the system out there actually talking to our communities and actually showing up to the voting booth. Because we have right, too many sir, bad I things. I want to say something to that. So we're I, doing a protest. We're protesting um, this Sunday at FBI headquarters. Um, Joey, what are the exact times again? What's the address? Uh, look up FBI Las Vegas. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> East Lake. Because yeah. yeah. I don't have the address right now. What, yeah. what are the times? Uh, it's going to be from 2 to 5 p.m. 2 to 5 p.m. this Sunday. We're doing a, um, a protest at FBI headquarters demanding answers and demanding the truth that the LVMPD seems intent on not giving us. So I would encourage you all to show up and, and we, we need to start acting. You know, th th this is a movie, but it's also a movement. Right, and, right. and the movement is letting the LVMPD and your dirty politicians that only care about money and answer to big money know that we're tired of it. It's unacceptable. Right. We care about humans. We care about human life. We care about integrity. And, and we're going to start demanding that. Yeah, that's so, the easy part. Yeah. The hard and part I is all of us getting out there and doing it. Showing up and taking 90 minutes out of your time. Thank you guys very much. It was excellent. However, how Thank long you. does it take to cast a, a vote? Guys, that's a good question. About four does, hours. How long does it take to learn four hours which candidates line. are the good ones? Is what is the more important question? I think that's a, that is an important. And that's question. hard Primaries. because the money gets their names out. Right. All the grassroots candidates are getting shit on and thrown. Of even well, that's right because the casinos. <laughs> the they, they never make like it to the ballot. The casinos fund the candidates, and casino money is hard to overcome. Mm -hmm. And casinos, you know. You don't get to own casinos because you're just this wonderful human with massive integrity. Let's face it, you just you don't. I mean, Otherwise, let's face it. I'd have a casino. Yeah. <laughs> the stuff. Yeah, right. The stuff casino. Oh, it's called the win, you know. And, and we all know about that guy. So we all know about his ethics and morals or non-existent ethics and morals. Another question. About a week ago, you said there was a guy who's bootlegging. DVDs of this film about a block away from Metro. Yeah, that's right. Do you know any updates on that situation? No. Or? You know what? I had I, I posted it on our page because I wanted to get. I figured like if Ramsey Dennison, the director of the movie, emails him, he's not going to respond because he knows who I am. like. And so I, I kind of like said like, hey guys, email this guy <laughs> and like let me know what's up. And um, and several people emailed him and like nobody he wouldn't respond to anybody. So I. I mean, I don't know what to make of that. I, I, I found the whole thing baffling. But nobody ever, um, several people said they'd email him and they never got a response. So, you know, I've dealt with a lot of piracy on this film. So that was just another thing, you know, to see that some guy was hawking DVDs of our movie for $2 off of Craigslist, a block from the LVMPD headquarters. It was certainly interesting, but, but I don't have any answers about it, you know. Some people thought it might have been an LVMPD sting operation. Um, I wouldn't want to be one of those people buying the $2 DVDs for this film. I'm sure they got thumped on pretty good by the dirtiest and deadliest police department in America, but I don't have any answers on that one. Um, yeah, you said there's a protest on Sunday, right? Yeah. Is that for the tapes from the Mandalay Bay to be released, or what, what's that? What are the tapes being demanded? Um, this protest, Joey, you can speak further on this. Yeah, sure. 
Go ahead. So you said, you know, we're starting a movement. I think that's true. It's, uh, it's about the truth, and it is a truth movement. You know, this is what the LGMPD didn't want to get out. You know, they didn't want your film in the Eclipse movie theaters because it exposes the truth. Yep. And um, that's what we're trying to do with these protests. Um, our first one was at the Mandalay Bay, and it was, you know, to show us your tapes protest and uh, you know it's been how many months now and we still haven't seen not even a single still frame of paddock inside the Mandalay Bay and uh, so we want to see the surveillance footage and that's why there's all these crazy conspiracies going around because they're you know not giving us the information are they showing. legally required to release that, those tapes from the Mandalay Bay to they're legally required to do what the judges ordered them to do which is start releasing public information documents and yet somehow that hasn't happened. And uh, Stephen, let me ask you that. Why hasn't that happened? If you're if, well, Richard, if, if, if Richard a, Scotty, Richard Scotty, the judge that ordered the release, recused himself today. And, oh, and uh, now we know how that goes. Uh, okay, and now it's been uh, assigned to Stephanie Miley. Okay. Um, and uh, there are some motions from Metro to uh, reconsider Scotty's decision, and uh, we'll find out at the end of May. <coughs> wow, that sounds. Um, yeah, we'll find out at the well, end. Well, you know what's going on there, obviously, right? I mean, like, like, why did she recuse him? Like, why did that happen? Yeah, because he because he violated the First Amendment rights of the press and was made a fool of by the Nevada Supreme Court. And so he was made a fool of because he, he gave a gag order that was completely unconstitutional. The Nevada Supreme Court slapped him down because um, he's a horrible judge. And um, and then he recused himself in disgrace, really. So, but so that's what, why. But I don't understand. Like, it seems like this all gets in the way of us getting answers. Oh, it does. It totally does. But I mean, let me, let let's face it. He 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 ordered the press to destroy um, evidence that they already had, and the Nevada Supreme Court dropped the hammer on him uh, and made him look like a a fool. And so he recused himself in disgrace, and it was randomly reassigned. And now uh, Stephanie Miley uh, has to deal with this. But you're making Metro it sound like there's nothing, there's no like big money um, puppet master stuff here. You don't think? I mean, look, look uh, the, the, those puppet masters, you know, things are that's your department. My department <laughs> is is just <laughs> stating the facts as they are. And the fact of the matter is, uh, Scotty issued a, a, a gag order against the press. Uh, un, that's unprecedented. Okay. And, and, uh, and the Nevada Supreme Court, it just slapped him down. It was, it's embarrassing. Um, and he never should have done that. And in disgrace, he's now reused himself. <coughs> he's the one that, that gave the order that said, Metro, you've got to give it. And not only that, uh, they, you don't have to pay a half a million dollars to get it. Right, and so he, he did that, which I, I agree well, I, with. I, I mean, yeah. But but now that the Supreme Court has has just really slapped him down, he's recused himself, and now it's randomly reassigned. And at the exact same time, uh, Metro's lawyers uh, filed motions to reconsider, and uh, and the hearing on that is I think is the end of May. So so, so does this all result? It, it, is this stalling intentional? To, to are they? I mean, it, it's. It, we all know we're not, something's not right. We're okay, not being well, told Metro, the truth. Metro filed motions to reconsider. Metro's doing those things. I can't get into Metro's head. It does stall it. Um, Scotty. Is that the goal? Well, I, obviously Metro does not want certain things out. I think that's obvious. Otherwise they would have just obeyed it from the beginning, right? right. And, and done what they were supposed to do. Look, I'm not in their, their head, you know, I'm just going to state facts and the facts are that because our legal system is what it is and because Scotty got just nailed by the Nevada Supreme Court, he, he was really forced to recuse himself and now it's Stephanie Miley that's going to make those decisions and ordinary course says that's not going to happen to the end of May. So, right. I mean, that it is what it is. <clears throat> that we have a legal system that doesn't work like television. Television, you know, wraps up an entire case in 30 or 40 minutes and uh including trials and it, it, it just doesn't work that way and right, so but it's supposed to be public information well i i agree with you that's what scotty said but scotty also made some mistakes with uh doing a, a unconstitutional gag order against the I press mean, and ordering them to destroy records i mean that was ridiculous and so 
you know, if he hadn't have done that, that we would we would have the information by now. But but look, it's it's not television, right? Things take time. And look, I'm no fan of Joe Lombardo, and I'd love to tell you I have all this evidence that he's behind this two month delay. But I don't. I don't have that. Isn't I, that I, what it looks? I mean, they're, they're obviously it, it stalling looks, and it looks lying, fishy. not telling the truth. Look, it looks, it looks fishy. That's what they do best is lying. It looks but, fishy, but I'm not yeah. going to say it looks fishy, so therefore it is fishy. You know, I'm going to look at the facts and say, oh, because the LBO on. He has no history of being fishy and lying. Uh, look, I, I, I don't like Lombardo at all. <coughs> Yeah. He's, I think he's corrupt, but at the same Very time, important. we got to look at time. We got to look at the facts, uh, gentlemen. Yeah, I just wanted to say that the biggest problem here is the sheriff is supposed to be the number one constitutional protector in this county, and obviously Sheriff Lombardo is the domestic enemy of the Constitution with all his shenanigans. He's an agent of several casinos, and this is why this seems to continue. We probably won't have a chance at a fair election, so we should shoot for indictments of Sheriff Lombardo at the federal level to get him taken down because he's got dirt hidden right in public. And meanwhile, we can't get anything done. We can't get any media here. Thank God you're here, Ramsey, because this wouldn't even be getting out to the world. There's a lockdown on the media on this. This isn't one incident of screwing over the Constitution. It's daily because the casinos don't give a shit about the Constitution. They don't give a shit about the poor or the working class. They want the high roller money, people off the sidewalks, and whatever has to be done. Well, I want to say something really interesting that a lot of people don't know. And, you know, the Vegas mass shooting was obviously, I mean, it was a very high profile case right from the beginning, I mean, the biggest story of the year. And then what, isn't it interesting that it just completely died and all of a sudden none of the networks are covering it. Let me tell you something that a lot of people don't know. So when there's a resort, when people check into a hotel in Vegas, that resort fee, it goes directly to the Las Vegas Convention and Tourism Authority. The star so, so that so that twenty four ninety nine that like those forty three million plus tourists who come to Vegas every year pay in resort fees, that goes directly to the Las Vegas Convention and Tourism Authority. They spend literally hundreds of millions of dollars on advertising every year. They have massive clout. They have massive influence, and that is one of the reasons why. This, this, this whole media shutdown has occurred on the Vegas mass shooting is because this organization spends hundreds of millions a year um, on advertising, okay? And advertising, come to Vegas, you're gonna make, you're gonna make thousands of dollars and walk out of the Bellagio with two hot blondes. The reality, of course, is that people come to Vegas and lose money and, there's, and they don't walk out of the Bellagio with two hot blondes, but that's what the function of the Las Vegas Convention and Tourism, hundreds of millions a year, advertising. Therefore, they have massive clout with, C with the CNNs, the ABCs, okay, and about the only organization that's not, doesn't kowtow to them and, and, and has been covering the mass shooting is Fox. And I know a lot of people criticize Fox, but they're also the most financially successful news organization. They don't need that money, and that's why you have people like Tucker Carlson questioning the mass shooting and talking about it. Isn't it interesting that no one else in the media, like this whole thing's been shut down. When you spend, when you go to CNN or whatever, like the Las Vegas Convention and Tourism Authority, and you, you spend millions a year on advertising, is there a tacit understanding? That you're like, if we want this story to die, you're gonna help, you're not gonna cover it, right? If we spend $50 million advertising um, with you, are you gonna, and, and so, I think that, and so that's one of the things I'm going to be exploring in the next film, is, is the Las Vegas Convention and Tourism Authority one of the reasons why this story is dying? Because they're using their muscle from spending hundreds of millions a year to make this go away. I mean, I was here a couple weeks ago, and I saw them tearing down the Vegas Strong signs on, uh, on buildings. They want this to go away. Sheriff Joe Lombardo actually said, it's important that we forget about this and move on. Mm -hmm. And it's important that we forget about the 58 people who died and the over 500 people who got injured and move on. Like, why is he saying that? Because the big casinos want everybody to forget about this, forget about those people who died, forget about this, this terrorism, come back to Vegas and blow your money, okay? Sir, on, on the thing about October 1st, for about two weeks in September, the Performers Union with street performers were giving affidavits to the FBI at their office 
They said if we got 20 affidavits that go after Lombardo for violating our constitutional rights, on September 20th, the FBI agent from an upper floor came in, shut us down, and kicked us out of the building. And they were saying something was going to happen. They don't have time for this. The FBI knew October 1 was going to happen. And we also put things on our Facebook posts and other media about this in early September when we found this out. So if we knew as street performers, the FBI knew, Lombardo had to know this was coming. I don't know if this was a false flag or it was somebody else besides Paddock, but nothing is making any sense. And the people who are responsible for protecting the city are holding on to those documents and other evidence. That means they have something to hide. That's right. There's a reason we're not getting the truth. Yes. There's a reason there's all this, this judicial crap going on that prevents us from getting in those public documents. And it's because these people have told lies, and they don't want those lies revealed. <coughs> and it's as simple as that. But our They're next, liars. Our next movie's and our movie's going to talk about those lies, and, and we're going to continue exposing these dirty politicians and dirty police officers of Las Vegas that betray the public that pays their salary. Yeah. This project started simply from you as a citizen observing something that you saw as wrong right. behavior by a police officer. Yep. And a lot of people don't realize that we have the legal right to film a police officer in the line of duty. And police officers will use intimidation tactics to stop a normal citizen from I'm sit, sit, recording this guy got these beat things. Up for doing that. Yeah, no, I've, I've seen it. And I've, I've seen a lot of things on uh, Stephen Stubbs' YouTube channel as well of people, you know normal citizens that are recording these things and so I would encourage everyone as Stephen Stubbs is my friend and, and my personal attorney that when you see things that you pull your cell phone out which everyone in here has and record these things that are happening there's a lot of injustices that happen in traffic <coughs> stops and profiling of of the biker community, uh, uh, your constitutional rights being violated, that simply having recorded video of it would help stop a lot of those injustices. So I, I completely agree. However, the one thing to be cautious of is the LVMPD clearly doesn't care about anybody's constitutional rights. And I'm, and I'm standing but next I'll to a guy who can, who if, can if, affirm if, that. If, if they that they do what they want, and if they need to lie, and if they need to make videos disappear, that's what they do. Because that's what the LVMPD is, the I dirtiest try, police department in America. I try to stay far enough away that they can't maybe quite see and try to film yeah. everything I encounter. Yeah. You know, basically the message is, it's not just a movie, more importantly, it's a movie. Yeah. What this gentleman stated earlier is, just go out and vote. And get out on the streets and protest. I'd love to see you. Um, join us at the FBI protest this Sunday and get out and, and make your voice heard, make your signs, and get out and let people know that this is not acceptable. Let's be proactive. Yeah. Any other questions? Thank you, everybody, for coming out. Yes, thank you.